Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another tutorial this time for these autumn flowers earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing and hitting the bell button because in this way you will know when I make new videos usually twice a week and you will be inspired often and uh, you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and also presents for the upcoming holidays. If you're not new here, you could definitely skip this intro and go to the work itself, but I have just a few words to say. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. And I want to thank to all of you that like, share and comment you don't know how much you help me only with these actions i'm always happy to see anybody commenting down there you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thanks for all of you that watch now guys and i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want and i'm using yellow red black and orange and here i'm using earring findings this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up are 12 black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and now I have this and I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay guys, now what I'm going to pick up are three yellows, one orange and three yellows. Okay, I have this on my needle and as I'm exiting here, I'm skipping the bead that's on my way and I'm going through the following, you see, and I pull. Okay, in my next step, I'm taking three, one orange and three. Okay, I have this. Skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Then I will show you one more time. Pick up the same sequence skip the one that's coming on my way and go through the following if it bends like this don't worry we'll fix it in the next row okay now i have this and i'm going to repeat this three more times until the end Okay, and see where I'm going in my last step through the very first black bead that I've been through in my previous row. Now guys, what I'm going to do is go through all of those three yellow beads. Then I will exit through the stop orange and I'm going to take three orange beads 
and as I'm exiting here I'm going back in circle through this orange just like this then I go through the first yellow here and I take orange black and orange so this is what I have and I'm going in the same place through this last yellow bit which is next to the orange that is sticking out the most you see what I have then I go through the orange and I'm going to take three orange beads and I go back like this I go through the following yellow orange black orange through the orange and three orange beads now I go through the following yellow and then orange black orange and I will continue these steps guys until the end and when I'm ready I'll meet you here if you forgot how I'm doing it just uh, rewind the video and repeat these three steps from here and I'll meet you there okay and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last orange black orange and don't worry that it bends at this stage we'll fix it later now I will go through this orange and as I'm exiting here what I'm going to pick up are two yellow beads one orange one red and then again one orange and two yellows okay this is what I have on my needle pause and pick it up and as I'm exiting here through this orange bead I'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most and I'm going through the following and I could also go through some beads in this direction and exit directly through the black bead if it's difficult for you to do it in one movement you could do it in two movements or more okay now here as I'm exiting out of this black bead I'm going to pick up seven black beads Okay, I have here my seven and as I'm exiting through this black one I'm going back in circle through this black again okay like this now I have this then I'm going in this direction through the next three beads orange yellow orange and I'm pulling and I'm exiting through this orange and I'm going to pick up the same sequence as before okay here it is two yellows one orange one red one orange and two yellows and as I'm exiting here I'm going through the other orange just like this then I want to reach through all of those beads and exit out of the black bead and I'm going to pick up seven black beads okay here I have my seven you see and I'm going back through this black and if you can go through the black and through the next three beads exiting out of this orange here at the base of the orange cross or right angle weave that I did okay now I'm going through this orange and again guys I'm picking up the same sequence 
I have this. Go back. Go through all of those beads. And seven black beads. And I will continue this until the end. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat it until the end of this row. And I'll meet you here. Okay, guys. And I have my last seven beads from this row. And I'm going back in circle through this black bead. And don't worry that your work bands at this stage will fix it later. Okay. Now I'm going through these two beads. Then in my next step, I want to go through all of the beads in this direction, aiming for the top. Okay. Then I go through the top, through the orange and through the yellow after this. Or I am here between those two yellows from one side of my loop. And I'm taking one yellow bead and I want to go through the top three beads of these seven blacks that I added in my previous row. So I'm going through the top three. Then I take one yellow go between those two yellows through all of the beads aiming for the top then from the outside to the inside between those two yellows one yellow and go through the top three beads like this one yellow Go between the two yellows here. Aim to reach the next two yellows and go between them like this. One yellow. Go through the top three black beads. First I'm going through two, then through the third one, or if you can go through the three at once. And I will continue these guys and you will see that at the end your work will stay in a straight line, not like now bending. Okay, I will continue this and meet you here. Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last yellow bead from this row and in my next row I'm going through this red bead here at the top and I'm going to add three red beads and I'm going back in circle through this one making a cross of four beads also called right angle weave then I go through the next four beads orange two yellows and I'm exiting out of the first black bead of these three that I've been through in my previous row and I take three black beads and as I'm here I'm skipping the black that's on my way and I go through the following and if you can in one movement you could exit here at the top if it's difficult for you do it in two movements Okay, I have three. Go here and in one movement exit out of the first black just to save time. If you feel more comfortable, do it with two movements. Okay, then again skip the one at the top and go through all of those beads and that's it guys you add three red and three black beads everywhere and continue this and meet me at the end if you forgot how I'm doing something just rewind and see how I make it uh, and 
repeat, repeat, repeat and I'll meet you. Okay guys, and I just added my three black beads. And what I'm going to do is exit here at this red bead. And still my work is bending a little bit, but we'll fix it this row. Okay. And I'm going to take five yellow beads, just like this. And as I'm exiting through the first thread, I'm skipping the one at the top and I go through the following and through the orange after that. And now I'm going to take three yellows and I go here through this black that's sticking out the most, just like this. Then I take three. And I go through the orange. Then through the red here in this direction. And guess what? I'm taking five yellows. Okay, five. Skip the red and go through the following red and through the orange from the outside to the inside and three yellows and this is guys what I do until the end I add three three five three three five it's really easy that is why I will let you do this by yourself until the end and if you don't remember something, just rewind and see how I'm doing it in these steps. And I'm sure you will be able to make it by yourself until the end. Okay. And I'm showing you the last five. Continue and meet me here. Okay. And here I am, guys, where I'm just adding my last three beads from this row and I have just one more row to go and I'll show you how I'm doing it I go through these three yellow beads and I'm picking up three yellows okay then I go through the following three yellows okay this is what I do until the end of this row just filling the gaps where the black bead is at the top with yellows take three yellows okay guys and i will continue this and i'll meet you here at the end and show you how to attach your earring finding Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And see how now everything uh, goes now nice and straight with this work. And what I want to do is show you how to attach your earring finding. Okay. In order to do this. I want to go here through the bead that's sticking out the most, which is the central of the three beads that I added in my previous step. Okay, here I am. And I'm taking my earring findings, then I take one seed bead, my earring finding, and one more black seed bead. Okay, this is what I have. And now I go back in circle through this middle bead that I'm exiting out of. And I pull. And now guys, you see I have this a loop here that I'm going to reinforce.
Okay, and when I have enough reinforcement, I will go through some bees in, the, in this direction and I'll find a place to make a knot. Let's say I'm making it here at the inner angle. And I'm making here a loop. And I go once. And I go second time through the loop I've made. And I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. And then guys, I could repeat this knot several more times. But when I'm ready, I go through the following one or two seed beads and then I cut my thread and my earrings are ready. Okay guys, and now my autumn flowers earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe because you will be inspired often, usually twice a week with my new tutorials and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in the description, you will see a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much of a support this is. Thank you and bye bye from me.